The ice has melted from Friday's storm, and now it's time for your heart to melt and mine too. I want to welcome Diane from Sammamish Animal Sanctuary to Spirit 105.3. Hi, Erica. Hey, happy New Year week. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Well, I'm just delighted to be talking with you. I loved the story about how your volunteers showed up during the ice storm. What happened, Diane? Well, we have a sanctuary over um, near the Renton area. It was just completely frozen, and for many years, the sanctuary was on our own property, but this was the first year that we've just moved it. And we couldn't get there, and our manager couldn't get there because of the ice. And so we just kind of asked some of the volunteers if they wouldn't mind. And there was a mother and son who walked over, over a mile, a mile and a half to get to the sanctuary to feed the animals. Oh. And then we had another young little volunteer who um, rode his bike <laughs> to get to the sanctuary and take care of those little animals. So, you know, what a blessing we have to have some of these volunteers who really step up and help us a lot. Absolutely. And I understand one of the roles they played was bunny snuggler. So <laughs> I just can't think of anything sweeter than that. Yeah, our bunnies, we have a bunny barn and a lot of people surrender their rabbits to us. They get them and then they don't want them after a little while. And, you know, we end up with them and try to rehome some of those bunnies. But in the meanwhile, they're with us and they just need a little attention and lots of little love. And so the people just hold on to them and snuggle them. And that's why feeding takes so long because you have to fit in the snuggles with everything, too. Oh, they're <laughs> so. so sweet. Well, I love it. Diane from Sammamish Animal Sanctuary in Renton. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you.